Good morning, this is Ken. This is a summary of ideas that I shared with uh, Jens on concepts for a set of protreptic coaching courses for TSI. Uh, so my understanding uh, from Jens is that there's like seven big ideas in the way he teaches protreptic coaching. When I looked in the book, I noticed that there was a strong connection in the protreptic book and the true storytelling book where each one of the seven Ps lines up with probably a big idea from protreptic coaching. If that's true, then that's, uh, that's even better. But in any case, uh, whatever the seven big ideas are that Jens has to teach, um, the first set of courses is really like a two-part. There's a, It would be a 30-minute lesson uh, consisting of a combination of Yen's lecturing and then an exercise where a student would be doing, right? And then they would do the work and come back and get his recorded feedback after they had experienced it, right? He doesn't have to do that live, although he could do it live with me. But the lecture portion would be like a three-minute story of why this is a big idea told in a personal way. Then up to uh, something like an 18-minute TED Talk, which would explore the big idea in detail. Um, so you take a three-minute story, an 18-minute TED Talk, about a 10-minute exercise, and that gets you to a 30-minute lesson times seven is 210 minutes of uh, home study course. Plus, you have a front end, a zero lesson, in which your standard overview of the seven Ps and the background introduction is available so they have context. So record the, when you record those personal stories and backgrounds. That's and then the executive summary of the seven principles, that is a great support material for this. Record once, use many. So I would call that protreptic coaching 101 is Jens's material. Uh, a next one I would say is, uh, which I'm happy to do, is that you record me doing my homework for that lesson. So whatever the homework is, whatever you expect that student to have done prior to receiving that lecture, you just gave it to me, then I'm going to do the homework and I'm going to record my one sheet of notes and some commentary and thoughts and any exercise he asked me to bring to that lesson. Um, this could also include a coaching session from Jens to me or him just coaching me through the session. So that that's, it doesn't have to be a full protreptic coaching session, um, but that's possible. But this is me doing the homework in order to be a good student for this lesson, right? So I would call that, that's me probably doing a 10 minute homework debriefing for each of seven lessons. So that would 102 would add one hour um, where I would recommend to put the uh, coaching, the coaching sessions would be something like this. And this is where the coaching session between Jens to me uh, would be in one of these modes where I would be acting either as a trader being coached, a teacher being coached, a business person being coached, a, a soccer coach or a business executive coach, a one who wants to be a coach, being coached. So that's like instructional coaching. Or uh, from a scholarly point of view, a scholar being coached. So any one of those five demographics, those domains, um, would be like the one-hour session that Jens and I already did on innovation, where I would adopt a particular point of view um, I would come in with something to be coached on, and then uh, Jens would coach me, and we would do that for an hour, and then would, we would do a debriefing of that uh, in the same way that we did the first sample lesson for innovation. What that gives you, then, is 
five domains where protreptic coaching could be specifically applied to different demographics. So when you want to market this whole thing, you have a logical flow of strong connection to true storytelling, then the protreptic coaching in detail with the uh, lecture and exercise material of the seven big ideas supplemented by me doing the homework for each of those seven big ideas in a 10-minute session, then coaching sessions from Jens to me with commentary, and then each one of those coaching sessions could be bundled as an example uh, to be applied to a specific demographic. Then once you do that, you now have a model that allows you to add other domains for application. So like a sixth application here or a sixth domain would be Team Oscar. So if you were taking this to Team Oscar, you would say, hey, you've already done this course. Here's the protract coaching. Here's the structured workout. And now the specific coaching from Jens to Team Oscar would consist of them adopting whichever model or mode they want to be in and then doing the protracted coaching. Um, and then that way you build them a specific module for who they are and what they're focusing on. But it leverages uh, the sample sessions, me doing the lesson by lesson homework, Jens's exercises per lesson and his lecture per lesson. So when you bundle all that, that would be 101 Protreptic Coaching 101 would be this bundle. 102 is like the lab work and what a good student looks like. 103 is then the next level of experiential learning, and that's true laboratory field craft. And then any of those could be modules that you market into those five domains. You'll get a lot of traction from five different domain-specific applications of coaching then plus whatever else you can build. So those are those are my thoughts, and that's what Yens and I had a quick conversation on. Um, the only thing I'm interested in, in you know, for uh, my own sales or whatever, is uh, I want to uh, market this whole package through m my website uh, to my traders as a community because I think they would benefit from protracted coaching as a trader. After they had gone, after they those people had enrolled through that course, then if they wanted to do um, coaching sessions with Jens, then they would just log into his uh, work calendar and book time with him as a protracted coach. Um, that Danish philosopher that I sent you the link on follows that model. Uh, and then we would do some kind of revenue split for however many of these courses I sell to my traders. I'll pay you guys a, a residual. All the work that I'm doing in the homework, doing the homework and then doing the recorded sessions uh, is my contribution to the body of knowledge and uh, no fee to me. Uh, you guys sell that course put that into the kitty, use that to fund scholarships for people that uh, can't afford the regular price of the course. Uh, and then the only stream of income I would get from this is where I'm marketing specifically your work to my people, uh, and then I'll pay whatever is a fair uh, referral fee. Okay? Uh, you guys, figure whatever you want, I agree to. Uh, take good care. We'll see you down the road.